What's up guys, it's Noah here from the Digi Bros, and today we're going to be taking our first actual look at the upcoming cards outside of the One Piece card game Star Deck. Uh, we're going to be looking at the first Star Deck right here, which is going to be the Straw Hat Crew, which is going to be, you know, Red Best Deck, baby. It's going to be the Luffy and the Straw Hats, my personal favorites. Red Best Deck, you already know this. Uh, so we're over here on the Digi not Digimon card of the One Piece. Uh, card that dev uh, same wonderful people uh, made both sides so um, we do have a couple of the alternate arts here on the screen uh, they are going to be the same thing as the other cards so we're just going to be taking a look at the original ones because uh, some of these other alternate arts we don't know how we're going to be getting over here in the US yet so starting off we do have the leader which is going to be my boy Luffy. So he does have the effect to activate main once per turn give the leader or one of your characters one rest of dawn card it's oh, it's okay. Like if you played the Learn to Play app, um, you know it's not, you know, a terrible effect. It's actually the same effect of the Nami right here. Uh, it's really good on the one drop Nami, but really for like your leader, you want to have something a bit more impactful. But I mean, for the Star Decks, you know, it's really good uh, leader to start with. Um, no, no complaints about Luffy. You know, start with five life, five k. Uh, moving on, we do have the Usopp. He does have the Dawn X1. When attacking, your opponent cannot activate blocker. Uh, 5,000 or higher power characters during the battle. Uh, most of the time, uh, blockers are going to be the 1-drop one 1k one blockers. Uh, like the Chopper right here. He is going to be your 1-drop one 1k one blocker. We're just getting a quick look at uh, Chopper while we're at it. But he does have the trigger effect. So if you do hit him in life, he will get played. Uh, so that's like security effect for your Digimon players. Um, he will get played in out of the life. So that is interesting. I'm not sure how much play he's going to see. Um, he's honestly not that great. So we do have the alternate art right here. Uh, we do have the one drop uh, Karu right here. It's just a 3k one drop vanilla. And we do have the Sanji right here. In the Learn to Play app, I really love the Sanji. I think he's really good in combination with both the uh, Luffy leader and the Nami. I definitely think uh, good starting play is playing the Nami for one drop. Uh, pass your opponent, come back to you. Uh, you got the two Dawn. Uh, they can drop Sanji. Uh, use both the effects of the Nami and the Luffy. So that way he will gain Rush and he'll also be at 6k. Um, so yeah, he's, a real, he's, he's real solid if you're playing in like that kind of like starter deck where you have multiple Namis and your Luffy uh, combination. But I feel like there are definitely better uh, cards moving forward. But that being said, for once again the starter deck play, I think the Sanji is perfectly fine because we do have both the uh, Luffy leader and the Nami interaction. Uh, moving on, we do have the Jinbei. He's got Don X1 when attacking your leader. One of your characters other than this card gains plus 1000 power. Uh, through drop 5 he's okay. Um, just being able to uh, buff up your other guys some more without uh, uh, wasting cards out of your hand. Always pretty good. Or equipping more Dawn on your stuff. So another alternate art for the GM right there. Uh, we went over the Tony Tony Chopper right here. Uh, shout out to Kai. Uh, my girlfriend, she absolutely loves Chopper. And she's going to think these are absolutely cute. <laughs> wants all of them. But like I said, he's just a one drop, one key blocker. Super, super good. Uh, Nami, whatever her bit, she's got to activate main once per turn, give uh, your leader when your character is one rest of dawn. Uh, so that's really good. I definitely see Red Dex playing her, you know, moving forward. Uh, just because that's a really strong uh, ability. Uh, usually you can only uh, equip your active dawns to your characters to give them buff. Uh, the U1K, but you know, with her effect, you know, being able to put that on your characters. Uh, something else I didn't mention uh, earlier with both the Sanji and Jinbei and uh, I guess also <laughs> all the other ones. Uh, so Usopp he does have the plus 1000 counter, same with the Karu, but the Sanji and the Jinbei do not so they probably won't see as much play because they don't have uh, the power in hand. Uh, Chopper doesn't either but he is a blocker so that's fine. Uh, Nami, Nami's good. Like I said, Nami's a good card. Uh, so Robin, she is a uh, three drop 5k blockers, the three, not blockers, uh, three drop 5k attackers and uh, vanillas, especially early on, they are like really strong. Uh, having a three drop that can match power with all the leaders in the game is super duper strong. And we do have her alternate art as well. So we got Vivi, uh, two drop 4k, she's okay. Uh, not much more to say about that, two drop 4k. Uh, then we got Frankie over here is a four drop 6k. Uh, plus 1,000 counter on him. Same with the BB and same with the Nami. They all got that plus 1k counter. Um, I don't know if Frankie's going to see too much play. I really think the 3-drop 
uh, 5K is uh, perfectly fine. Uh, I don't really want to waste another Dawn. Uh, I'm just going up one more power. Um, and then we get up here to Brook. Brook is, you know, really good. He's a lot like Nami. He's got the on play, give your leader one of your characters two versus Dawn. Uh, so you'll play him out for two drop, and then you can give the plus 2K to either your leader or one of your other characters. I definitely think Nami, Brook, and Chopper are some of the best cards coming out of the star deck alongside uh, the super rare uh, main deck Luffy. Uh, he's got Rush, so he's a 5 drop 6 hit with Rush, and he's got Donix 2, one tag your opponent can't activate blocker for the battle. Um, so that can come up, you know, if you're trying to go for game, they got a couple blockers on the field, uh, just having Don X2 on him, uh, so they can't activate a blocker. And for those who don't know, uh, Don X2, he has to have uh, that amount of Don equipped to him, uh, so like we said, we both have the Nami, the Broke, and the uh, Luffy Leader being able to equip Rest of Dons to him. So if you do drop him for 5k, then you can use the other effects to put two on him. So that way you can activate the Don X2 uh, when attacking. Uh, your opponent can activate Blocker for the battle. Uh, moving on, we got the Zora right here. He's got Don X1. This character gets plus 1000 power. Um, he's pretty strong for that effect. So the Don will give him uh, additional 1000. So he'll be a 7. Uh, that was an attacker. Uh, if you're going second, you can drop him on your second turn. Or if you're going first, you, no, if you're going second, you can drop him on your second turn. Um, but he also does not have a uh, counter, and neither does the Luffy. Um, but one thing that's cool is the Brook has a 2k counter. So Brook is definitely, I think, going to be seeing a lot of play alongside Nami and Chopper. Once again, those are the three best ones. Uh, Luffy makes sense. He's, you know, kind of like your boss monster for the boss monster boss character uh for the uh, deck so him not having one makes sense i don't think any of the really high drop ones uh and any of the other colors do as well but we also have this amazing looking zoro alternate art um absolutely gorgeous so that's going to wrap up all the character cards coming outside of the uh straw hat um star deck it's cool that they introduced the uh, characters like haru and vivi uh, for the Shrines, because you know they're honorary members whenever they're in Alabasta and leading up into it as well. So, moving on to uh, the three uh, event cards, option cards, whatever you want to call them, they're event cards, but I'm still used to option cards from Digimon. But uh, for uh, one cost, we do have Guard Point. It's a counter. Your leader, when your character gets plus 3,000 during the battle, and it's also got a life trigger. Your leader, when your character gets plus 1,000 duration of this turn. Um, I mean, it's it's solid. Uh, being able to for one drop uh, get uh, plus three k, it's pretty solid. It's not too bad. Uh, Jet pistol here, however, is really good. Uh, four drop KO when your opponent catches with power six k or less. Um, that's going to be most of their characters. If once we start getting to like the really strong ones, like the seven, eight, nine, how even ten k ones, um, we're already <laughs> losing that one. So, and then the life trigger is activates cards main effect. Um, it's not really the guy force of uh, this one. It does have the being able to, uh, you know, KO one of your opponent's characters. Uh, it's, it's definitely a really strong card. This is definitely going to be uh, four of definitely the best option card uh, within this uh, star deck. And then we got the Diablo Jambe. Um, you got main, choose one. Uh, your leaders are one of your characters with Try Hit Crew. And you're turn, your opponent can activate a blocker. Um, and then it's got Slide Trigger. KO one of your opponent's characters with cost of three or less with a blocker. It's, I mean, it's it's okay. It's I don't think it's gonna see too much play. It's it's got cool art. It's got uh, you know Sanji doing Diablo Jambe, but it's 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 not that great. Um, for our stage card, uh, we do have the Thousand Sunny. Uh, you may rest the stage. Uh, give one card in your field gains plus one thousand power. That's honestly not that good. I don't think stage cards are gonna be seeing too much play because really at the moment none of these stage cards we've seen are that particularly good. Um, sorry, Sonny. <laughs> uh, maybe in the future we're gonna get super, super strong ones. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just okay. And so that is actually going to wrap up the first star deck. Like I said, it's gonna be the uh, Monkey D. Luffy one. Uh, really cool. Love Straw Hat. <laughs> Love Luffy. Red Best Deck. You guys already know this. Once again, I am Noah from the Digi Bros. Should we be the One Piece Bros? No, no, no. We're Digi Bros for life. You guys want to see more exciting One Piece card game content and Digimon content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys in the future for more exciting One Piece card game content.